Hi, my name's Joe, and today we're going to talk about the main question. What is Animite Tales? Well, to put it simply, it's a tabletop roleplay game set in the universe surrounding a mysterious crystal known as Animite. These tales follow the different events that Animite creates and enables multiple storytelling possibilities. For instance... The first set of modules will be set on an Earth-like planet known as Beta, where history has been shaped by Animite, which grants half the world's population with superpowers or mutations. Not only did it shape humanity, it shifted the entire world. There's Girison, a city built around the detonation of a massive chunk of Animite, the desert wasteland of Emjinar Linear, war-torn and filled with dangerous creatures, the underwater city of Aquacity, lying under the eight seas, and Husconia, the arctic home of a proud colony of mutants. It's also advanced technology to an incredible degree, from cybernetic enhancement to rare animite-powered machines. Now, this advanced society in many ways, but also caused a whole load of other problems, uh, which caused humans to develop their own talents, including mysterious skills known as willpower. And to explain more on mysterious powers, here's Sam with a heartfelt poem about the game. On the planet Beta, there's a bunch of races. There's humans with all kinds of faces. Their bonus will die to par, 1d4. And they're shippers. They've got powers galore. But only one. That's what makes them special. Like anomalies, they've got two in which they revel. Spatial, light emission, power synergy, and biological manipulation. Dragons are the ones you fear, unless you have negation. They control time, space, the light and dark. As opposed to anthropials, you could be anything from the park. Like bear men, cat boys, tree girls, the race for all furries. I dare say, if all the different species confuse and make you worry, if you buy this book and do support, then you won't be sorry. Thank you, Sam. If I were to bullet point any of the main top mechanics that makes this game stand out, I'd probably have to say, well, one out of the five. One, an all-inclusive reaction combat system. A unique combat system that, well, turns the unnatural manner of turn-based combat into a more realistic reactionary system. For instance, if you're about to get hit, you might be able to dodge, or even get a hit in yourself. It, really, multiple possibilities. Number two, a unique power and leveling system for all different types of mechanics. The power-based system in this game is one of a different type. For instance, people get their powers because of the unique strangeness of Animite. Because of that, it actually is within their DNA and sometimes can actually be passed on in different manners. However, it levels up differently as well, and can mutate and evolve, meaning that you get to choose exactly how your powers eventually end up. Number three, a PvP style mechanic. Well, that's actually quite simple. <laughs> you see, most NPCs are actually based on the same stuff that make players, so because of that, even players can fight each other or fight enemies and it will feel pretty much the same. Because of that, it's actually a lot more streamlined in the forms of the combat, meaning that players can fight each other, or at least it means that players will actually feel like as if they're fighting other players when they're in combat. Number four, blood and DNA form of special infusions. Blood infusion is a special ability that you can actually do to a multitude of different weapons. Again, as I said, the power system is unique. Because of this, the blood or DNA can be infused in items, clothing, objects, even weapons. And because of this, you can get all sorts of different things. For instance, a pyrokinetic who can generate and manipulate fire. Boom! Now you have a fire sword, imbued with the blood of a pyrokinetic. And five, a completely different world within many different types of society. Well, as we have literally just heard from both Sam and Alex, the possibilities are endless, but this unique world has multiple different things to grant you. Suddenly you want to be in a world of superheroes? Go to Iris City. Want to be some kind of raider gang or even just survivors out in the wastelands? Go to Enginar Linear, the desert country. Want to go to an underwater location like Fishman Island or even just, well, the magical place known as Atlantis? I mean, come on guys. Then you can go to Aquacity. There's a bunch of different possibilities, including some that you haven't even heard of yet, and some we don't want to spoil yet. 
No spoilers just yet, guys. But either way, there's many possibilities with Anime Tales. Thank you very much for listening, and we really hope and appreciate any support that we can have, either through listening to our podcasts, watching any of our games, or even just, perhaps, supporting us on Patreon. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day. Ciao, ciao, for now.